Welcome to Fishing with Steve D. Well, in today's video, we are going to explain a few knots, how to best knots to tie on your floats and to tie onto your pots, your red claw pots. And I've done a bit of research and I've got some very interesting knots that'll help you guys out. I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, today we're going to show you how to burn the ends of the rope with a barbecue starter. Now we've got this uh, from the cheap shop for about five bucks. It's got um, a gas in here. If you have a look at it, you've got the um, level glass. You can see the level of gas. Uh, you turn this switch on and then you can adjust the flame and it gives you a flame. Rope just like that and then Twirl it over with a bit of spit in your fingers because it is hot. Okay, and that is how easy it is to burn the ends of the rope. Now you can put electrical tape on it as well, but that's how easy it is to um, burn the ends of the rope. And what it does, it seals it and it won't fray. Now you can put some electrical tape on around it, um, which is probably a good idea as well and um, when you do that you just twirl it around to about there then just put your electrical tape on it and then your rope is good to go and you can tie your knots really easy i hope you like this video and this tip on how to burn the ends of the rope pretty simple pretty easy when you got all the tools yes i just wanted to mention this is a safety this little switch here this so your kids can't get the barbecue starter and start getting fires if you switch it over to the left um, this little knob switch here it will not start you have to switch it over to the right so that you get a flame but if you switch it over to the left it won't work it won't click so it's a child's safety um, so they cannot start it so that's really really handy and a really good tip and a really good feature so it makes it child proof So here we have our rope and it's been uh, the end's been burnt on it that'll come up like that now just to show you that's without burning the rope it just unravels and uh, that is burning a rope so big difference this one here so there we go okay so when you tie your uh, pots your red claw pots or crab pots uh, always best to tie it on the bottom so it pulls it upwards um, rather than uh, tying it on the top and it digs into all the snags and it'll actually get caught um, and uh, you could uh, lose your pot so best always to tie it on here okay so the first knot uh, I've done a bit of research and it seems to be the bowland or the bowling um, okay so what we do we take about that much and we form a loop like like that and you want 
you want. Okay, so this is the best way to explain it. This is the this is the hole. This is the tree. And this end here, which you've burnt, is the rabbit. So Mr. Rabbit comes through out of the hole. He runs around the tree. And then he goes back in the hole again. And then so you, you get that and then you just pinch that and pull on both ends. But I'm gonna want a bit more tag in because I'm gonna show you something else. So then if you pinch on both those, that is the bowland. And when you pull on those, that is quite a impressive knot. Now I'm gonna show you another one, the reverse. So I've formed a loop. Here's a rabbit, he comes out of the hole. He goes around the tree and he goes back in to the hole. So then we pull that one and that one. So what we'll actually end up having if you do it right, is a double lock, a double lock bowland. So there it is there. So you see the first one there, you see the second one here. And what will actually happen is they pull up on each other. They pull up on each other. So that is really, really a good way uh, to tie a bowline with a double lock. Now, this poly rope is not probably the best to tie with. You're probably better off tying with a nylon nylon rope. Nylon nylon seems to be better than the um, the poly ropes. Poly ropes are pretty hard to to work with, but that's how you do those knots. Okay, so the loops like that, you're putting that over the one on the left there. So the tree is upward facing. Okay, so the rabbit comes out of the hole. Okay, he goes around the tree. Goes back in the hole. So now, you just pull that up a little bit because I don't want too much of a loop on there. The two working ends. That's really nice. Now we're going to do the reverse again. Now see if I can remember. So the tree, you got the hole. Hang on, we put the hole on the top. That's right. So it needs to be in the top. So, okay, the rabbit. There's the hole. Rabbit comes out of the hole. He goes around the tree and the rabbit goes back into the hole and you pull on the two working ends it's poly rope there we go and just to be safe, I'll just do another hitch. Just an easy one, two, three hitch. So there you have it. You got a bowland or bowline on the first knot. You got a bowline on a second knot. You got a couple of hitches. Yeah, that's not gonna come undone. Especially if you do that. And you can put a knot in this end here if, you, if you're really worried. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to tie another knot onto the pot. And this knot is called the reverse slip knot. So we go around in a loop and we go around twice and then we come through the loop 
and through the loop it's formed and then pull that nice and tight on the working end and then we, we do the same so this is basically a slip knot so we go around like this and we go through poly rope can be a little bit difficult to deal with but have a look at the, how neat that knot is small and strong because you've got the two knots working against each other now you can do just do a hitch nice and easy or you can in do a safety knot in this tag end so there we have it safety knot in the tag end here so that won't go through there so that is how you do a double slip knot with a hitch and a safety knot in the end of this poly rope hey guys so now that i've tied my nice little knot it's strong and uh onto my red claw pot this will also work for crab pots so these are our economy uh entry level uh 49 special instead of 60 bucks comes with a heavier mesh and they've got the speedy clips so you can open them in seconds but we're going to show you a little trick is you take the rope and you just put it around the center so put it around the center of um, just by putting it around the center keeps it nice and tidy um, and so then you just close it down you just uh, lock on the locking bits on these both sides here so now that's how flat that's how flat they come and they um yeah now we've got the heavy duty as well which is a lot a lot a uh, heavier pot these economy pots they come at uh, 1.1 kilos but the heavy duty pots uh, come in at 2.6 kilos so they're a lot beefed up they got struts twisted struts which I'll uh, put a couple in the photographs um, shortly in this video so you can have a look at uh, we have our clip-in ring system here um, we are exclusive on that uh, design Australian design that I've designed and uh, so that allows it to be a three-in-one pot so if you want to use a three-in-one pot for three purposes uh, yeah send me a message guys and uh, you can be using the one pot for three purposes and uh, save a whole sack of money at the same time and here are our heavy duty pots now uh, these have struts in the side of them um, now keep in mind the newer models our uh, wholesalers are bringing out some twisted stronger struts uh, in the next uh, batch that are going to be ready very shortly and these little additions are really good because you can collapse them flat as a pancake and these little locking on either side locks it in um, these uh, speedy clips on this next level comes in a very thick mesh I've really made it a bit more beefed up this one um, so it's a thicker mesh it's got 8 mil um, frames instead of five mil on the economy um, and then it's got the upward facing rings uh, in our clip-in ring design which we're exclusive with it's a three-in-one pot so you can use it in three different um, situations so um, if you want a three-in-one pot that's going to save you a whole stack of dough to do everything well uh, send me a message guys so that's our heavy duty pot um, and the new ones like I said are coming with the new improved twisted struts and they're also going to have a built-in bait bag in the bottom which is going to be really really cool um, yeah so we're improving them every time we do a batch well guys if you've enjoyed this video on how to tie some nice strong neat small learn knots onto your red claw pots crab pots and floats please smash that like button uh, as it sh will tell YouTube to send it to more like-minded people. Also, please subscribe to my channel. And if you get a lot out of my videos, 
uh, please uh, click on the thanks button and make a small donation as this would help me bring a lot more content to you guys. Um, I've done a lot of research into this video. I hope you really liked it. Until next time, stay safe. This is Fisherman Steve D. God bless.